Hello all you fine beautiful people, I'm back here once again with another reaction and today I'm going to be reacting to Awaken by Yes, live at the Montreux Festival in 2003. If you're new to the channel, I play a song all the way through, give you my thoughts and opinions on it at the end. So, I have really enjoyed listening to Yes and I've reacted to a few of their live stuff and especially the Anderson Bruford Wakeman Howe stuff, which I think is absolutely fantastic. And they're a band, the more I listen to them, the more I just pick out really fun stuff to just listen to and really enjoy. And they're a band you can always go back, listen to, and after each listen you pick out something else that you're like, oh, I didn't notice that before, oh, I didn't notice that. Sadly, last week we lost Alan White, the drummer of Yes, which, man, the more I've been listening to Yes, more I realize how good their uh bill birdford was and especially how good alan white was as a drummer in this band so i thought you know what let's play this let's see how this sounds so without further ado and more of my rambling here it is awaken by yes Thank you. 
so wonderful. Thank you very much. I'll take this uh, opportunity to say thank you for coming out tonight. It's been great to be able to come to the Jazz Festival, and you've been a wonderful audience, and thank you. And we're going to sing uh, a song that uh, most of you know this song, and we'd like you to sing along. Uh, we're going to sing it in the key of... Uh, that key, hopefully. And So that was Awaken live by Yes at Montro Jazz Festival. Wow. I have to say right off the bat, I absolutely love Rick Wakeman on the keys on this. Just his flair and just the sound of Rick Wakeman playing keyboards is fantastic. And just seeing some of the stuff he'd do, how he'd move from one uh, keyboard to another, to another, to piano, to keys, doing all this stuff. And it works so well. Uh, John Anderson's voice absolutely is just so beautiful to listen to. And the more and more I listen to John Anderson, the more I really appreciate how good of a vocalist he is. Like... And even for this being, like, 2003, like, they were already doing this for at least, over, what, just about 25 years by this point? 60s, 2000, or 35 years? Like, it's amazing that John Anderson sounds as good there as he does even back in the 70s and that. Like, he has just a very great, just very nice, beautiful to listen to voice. Uh, Alan White on the drums, like... One thing I'll say is that it's one thing to look at Yes's catalog and say, okay, this and that and that. There's a whole other thing to go out and perform it. And night after night, maybe playing like 20 minute long songs. And it's interesting to listen to and to also think about, man, the stamina this guy must have. To pretty much do this night in and night out. I know after a while it probably gets into a groove, but it, it's really impressive. One of my favorite parts on this is, uh, I, I think it finally clicked for me watching Yes here, is the best way to describe it is Steve Howe uses his guitar as like his stage presence, like all the tricks and stuff he's kind of doing on his guitar and rhythms and all that. Where Chris Squire is very much like out front, like just giving it on bass and really giving you a show that way. I kind of like that dichotomy between the two. It works so well. Uh, Chris Squire's bass playing is fantastic. Like, just listening to it, even in this, it just cuts through everything. It's like, it feels like with Chris Squire, there's no bullshit on bass. It's like, it's going to cut through. It's going to sound good, and it's going to fit the song, and it works so well here. Uh, like I said, Steve Howe on guitar, like, there's parts of this where it's like, oh my god, that's just so beautiful. And I just get a kick out of it, how, and maybe a pun intended, how he's just uh, playing uh, just uh, kind of a steel guitar, kind of a pedal guitar, I guess is the way to put it. I'm not sure that's the exact term. But then, as he's about ready to play his guitar, he just kicks, kind of just nudges it out of the way with his foot. It's kind of interesting. I, I love the dynamic between Rick Wakeman and Alan White. That one little section where you get, like, and then you get John Anderson on a harp. You get uh, Chris Squire coming in underneath on bass. And really, it's not, it doesn't sound like I wasn't able to pick it up very much guitar in there, but it didn't need to be. And it works so well. Just hearing Rick Wakeman, like some of these very haunting choruses, but also beautiful, lush. It has a very lush sound to Yes. And it's something listening to Yes you get through. Sometimes it's probably more executed better than others. I think this is like Yes. At their best on this just listening to it and like oh my god 
the lushness of it, the everything just works, comes together. It, it's one of those, like, you get a band on the right night, the right time, and it's like you're able to capture it. And this is kind of what I think of with that. But anyway, that's my thoughts and opinions of Awaken by Yes. Like, man, really great stuff. Like, I really like the studio. First time seeing the live stuff, I have to say, I'm blown away. Like, this band is fantastic. I, it kind of makes me wish I would have discovered Yes a lot earlier. And maybe have been able to go see him in concert and all that stuff. But, is what it is. So... Once again, fantastic. I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Indifferent about it? Please let me know down below in the comment section. Like always, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what do you think of the song down below in the comment section. This is me here, signing out. Peace.